Which of the following features is most commonly associated with this patient's diagnosis? A 50-year-old woman presents to her primary care physician with complaints of difficulty swallowing, persistent um, heartburn, and Raynaud's phenomenon. On physical examination, the physician notes skin thickening on the patient's fingers um, and hands. The patient has a history of pulmonary hypertension. Um, lab tests reveal positive anti-centromere antibodies, in which the following is the most commonly associated with this patient's condition. So this lady has um, Crest syndrome. I believe she has Crest syndrome due to like, you know, calcinosis, cutis, or um, Ray, Raynaud's phenomenon, esophageal dysmotility, sclerodact scleroderma, and telangiectasias. So I would go with calcinosis cutis in this one. Final answer? Yes. Yeah, that's going to be your best answer here, right? Um, calcinosis uh, cutis, right? Um, so cutaneous systemic sclerosis, also Crest syndrome, Raynaud's esophageal, sclerodactyly, telectangias, right? Um, and calcium deposits, right? Um, under the skin is kind of part of Crest syndrome. So um, the rest kind of don't make too much sense, right? And so, yeah, definitely for sure. Got the diagnosis correct. And then the next order, you know, the second order of it is going to be kind of your um, associations, right?